An extremely isolated event caused heavy brief snow in a sliver of the Denver Metro this morning. And Denver 7's Lance Hernandez traveled to the small area just outside Commerce City to explain industrial effect snow. There may have been plenty of sunshine with haze this afternoon, but it was foggy this morning. You know, I woke up and it was really cold and I kind of just looked, looked out my kitchen window and I noticed that it was snowing, which was weird. Like many residents, Paige Turner had no idea it was going to snow this morning. She lives in Commerce City, north of Suncor and XL's Cherokee Generating Station, which were both venting a lot of steam today. That led to a light dusting of what's referred to as industrial snow. We had a lot of humidity, a lot of areas of fog. Denver 7 Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson says the saturated air, cold temperatures, and smokestacks at Suncor and Cherokee combined to create that snow. The smokestacks at the refinery put out not only uh, heat, but also moisture and also little bits of air pollution called aerosols. And so that was just enough extra ingredients to make little flakes of snow. And enough to show up on radar near the plants about 9.30 this morning. The National Weather Service took notice, tweeting, check it out, a small area west of Commerce City had more snow than anywhere else, attributing it to the extra water vapor. Miss Turner says she's never heard the term industrial snow before. No. No, no, it's definitely different. <laughs> I also asked Mike about the aerosols, whether they're polluting the snow. Well, you shouldn't eat snow anyway, but uh, that stuff I might particularly avoid uh, tasting. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.